Alright guys, I put the hair on the clown door today, and the door was going to open um, with the hair on it. Basically the door opens, there's my garage door, and the hair stays affixed onto the actual facade. So, you close it, and then it looks like the clown was here. Blammo. And it turned out pretty good. Just thought I'd give you guys a quick shot of that. Alright, so here is the cauldron that I have. That will be my mom's uh, gypsy cauldron. Like, maybe she'll tell a fortune in the fog. Oh, yeah. That's pretty cool. <laughs> All right, guys, it's Fogger Madness time again. First one, no worky. That is a good hunting house that in Look, it's coming. Oh, it is coming on. Oh, oh, barely. Huh? It's shooting a little out. Oh. It's unplugged. I turned it off. Oh. So that one there, fogger number one, sort of works. Fogger number two, waiting for it to heat up. We're waiting for the magic green light. When it comes on, we'll be back, and Peyton will get to push this button. Amy, you'll be next, okay? Okay, guys, I actually had uh, someone from the neighborhood come over, and now it's dark outside. <laughs> but second fogger number two works like a champ. And this is probably the cheapest one I ever bought. Oh, yeah, foggy, 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 spooky house. Fogger number three, also mega cheap fogger, works. Don't know how well you can see this. I got my grave digger head hooked up. And the moving shovel. A tombstone in the back, a moving Dracula tombstone. And, hey trick or treater, what's up? Don't have candy yet. My head popper, right here. Nice. And my Dracula tombstone. Kind of squeaky, but you know, hey. Ooh, that one's better than that other one. Pleasure? Yeah, go. Ooh, that's noisy. Hold it. Hold it down. Alright guys, this is one of those ground foggers. Okay, that's good. That's good, Peyton. No foggy coming out. Now, 
The motor is working, so this does sound like a a, a problem than where it's stopped up. So I don't know. It may work to put the vinegar through this um, or distilled water. I'll try it. I'm not going to take it apart though. I think I took this one apart last year. I just don't feel like doing that. If three foggers is what I have, that's what I'll have. Two will go in the uh, above ground. What are you? What's wrong? What are you doing? Two will go <laughs> in the above ground uh, tomb, and one will go in the mausoleum. Something else I didn't get to film yesterday. I don't know if I showed you guys. In the, in sort of the clown room area, I have this little disco ball thing going. Clown room. Here. Still got some wires to put up. Disco ball thingy. Right above the jack-in-the-box as a distractor. And then the jack-in-the-box will go off. And I came and wired some more LED lights. So I have... Five LED lights there, five LED lights here, one, two, three, four, five. These four are all focused on a face in here because the faces on these are not black light resistant, but they are black light resistant. <laughs> well, I guess they are black light resistant. Is that a new word or a phrase? Anyway, not black light ish ing you can't really pick it up but his face is really green in the uh video same thing with this guy and then these lights here not sure where i'm going to point these quite yet i'm going to point probably most of them at the jack in the box i still need to program the jack in the box sound into there i also got um, all the cords were down on the ground. I got everything up and out of the way, up on top. I have an easy access to where I can turn lights out, turn lights on. For everything in here is easy accessible. Just got to get a couple more wires um, mounted up, mount two more black lights, run three air lines, and all I'm, I have enough line. Uh, all the props have the proper fittings already. I just need about four fittings, and I can run the airlines. And then every prop in here will have power and air, and all lighting will be in place. I mean, we're talking almost done with all the lighting and airlines in the haunt. That is ridiculous. And so all I'm going to want to do after that is, and you guys tell me if it, if it would be too much, but I think it's really fun. I really, really like all this craziness here. Uh, you're not, you don't even get the full effect watching through this video. It is so freaking glowy. It's ridiculous. And since this is sort of a fun house, you know, you start off in this room, which is kind of dingy. And you don't expect for it to go bammo on you, like in here. I really want to carry some of this here all the way around all these dark walls. Or do you think those need to stay black going through there? I just really like the glowy stuff. I don't know. Maybe I like the glowy. I am going to probably finish this framing this thing out with glow paint. I don't have a black light in here yet. This guy glows really crazy. So, and so does this guy. Oh, and I got to get I got another bucket tub of clown stuff like this that I need to hang everywhere. And then I'll be done with all that really cool stuff and then I need to also another question. Ceiling. 
you can see the ceiling right now with all the lights are out in here. Let me turn this. Okay. This is total darkness right now. This is as dark as it will be in here. And you can see these things kind of brighten up the ceiling. You know, I guess I could put lids on those, right? I'm going to put lids on those to where they're not so bright. I mean, hell, I may just turn them off. I don't know. You guys tell me if that really brightens it up too much in this room. I think it might. I may want to turn those popcorn buckets off. And I'm thinking about putting a roof on this thing. Not a roof, but just black pla black tar uh, black material. I already have it. I can use it, and I think it may really darken it up in here and make it even even cooler. So, all right, guys, let me know. Leave a comment like normal down in the doobly doo. I thought it'd be cool to see an aerial view of the haunt. So. Entrance room, entrance room, way over there. And they come around, come down this hall. The barrel is in there. Clown, the uh, concession stand there. We come around, around. Oh, I can't get over here. Clown room, long hallway, shot cage is over there. And as you can tell, I still need lots of bracing. I'm gonna run braces from, I mean, every wall across, um, I just haven't had time to go get 2 by 4s I need more 2 by 4s and L brackets to secure it all down, and then I'll be done, yay!